Hello Mila, hello Jack, hello everybody else is watching and welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from the Garden Gang and it is Robert Raspberry. Robert Raspberry was really inquisitive. From morning till night he could never resist going where he shouldn't go and doing what he shouldn't do. His parents became quite worried because they felt that people would think him bad-mannered. One of these days, his mother would often say, your inquisitive ways will land you in serious trouble. We don't mind answering your questions, but I'm afraid that other people will think you're spying on them. Please try to remember that. Yes, said Robert. But... Robert soon forgot his promise, when later he saw Oliver Onion, busy on his rockery. Why are you using a trowel? Why has it got a yellow handle? Why are you digging there? What seeds are you using? When will they grow? Where is your hat? Is this your rockery? he asked all at once. Stop, stop, cried Oliver. My head is in a whirl. Please don't ask so many questions. At least, not all at once. You can learn an awful lot just by watching carefully. Why? When? How? asked Robert. Oh, please go and watch someone else, said Oliver. One day, he was walking through the park when he saw a notice which said, Please keep off the grass. I wonder why, I thought Robert, and immediately stepped onto the soft green turf. Get off the grass, called a very cross park keeper. Robert quickly ran away. Once, when Robert went to the zoo, he was busily feeding the monkeys, where the big notice said, Please do not feed the animals. A large monkey grabbed the food he offered and would have grabbed Robert too if it had not been for a kind lady who was passing and pulled him clear. The strictly private sign outside a big house fascinated Robert. I must find out why that sign is there, he thought. He soon found out as he opened the gate to go in. A large, noisy dog came bounding down the path towards him. Robert ran until he was safely out of sight. Silly dog, he thought. Robert Ransbury loved to read. His mother often bought him library books. But one day she said, Would you like to come with me to the library this afternoon? Chatter, chatter, said Robert when they were in the library. Shh, shh, said the librarian. Can't you read the notice in here? It says silence. Poor Robert. Although the notice by the pond said no fishing, Robert just had to get out his rod and try his hand at fishing. He hadn't been there for more than five minutes when an angry farmer picked him up by his trouser seat and took him back to his parents. Please keep this young raspberry under control, he said. Would he never learn his lesson? Each day Robert's parents became more and more embarrassed by the things he did. He really is very bright, said his mother. So why can't he be sensible like most other people? He needs a short, sharp shock, said Robert's father. The shock came sooner than they thought. Robert was standing by a gate, near which was an enormous sign which read, Bull in field, keep out. What's a bull? thought Robert. He jumped over the gate into the tall grass. What a shock he got as the gigantic 
gigantic animal came charging at him. He leapt the fence with one bound and ran for his life. And after that, he was always very sensible. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.